ZV versus Vorst Grand Finals. Which I totally just uploaded the last one with the wrong metadata. Mmm, happened. <laughs> Good thing those were just friendlies. <laughs> we're good now. Were you guys playing that one serious? Were you guys was that serious? Come on, ZV, it was a red light. <laughs> Wait, Chew beat Mango? Oh, okay. Still scare me like that. Well, okay, guys. Well, apparently, these memeing fools took advantage of our advertisement time and played the first set of their series. So, sorry to bring that out and you guys missed it, but you did get to catch the end of it of ZV rocking Vorce World. So, I guess we're going to start this one 1-0 for El Zivo. Or ZV. Yeah, I was just, I thought for some reason I thought I said Zoex again. Oh, boys. Mango is getting worked right now. Holy hell, I'm sorry. <laughs> is this losers? This is losers too. This is lower bracket. This is stock life. That's gnarly. Dude, no way, Chew Dad <laughs> just be What is Mang Mang The script The script is broken. Saturday Mango Oh he literally just killed All himself because right. he was like, There's no way I'm playing against you can Nana too. Oh, no, oh, right. Well, dude, back to our uh, magic sorry, hand. Sorry, man. That's just <laughs> saddening. The people's champ just went out like a buster. <laughs> Team beer. All right. We're back at it again. We've got ZV's Cloud versus RC Vors Fox. And right now looking pretty even. Like I said, I'll tell you how the first game went, but these memeing people just can't handle it. Can't have no patience. No patience. It's a red light. Clearly, they're colorblind and can't read. <laughs> <laughs> got him. All right, so we've Force got. Force should know better. Exactly. <laughs> Good thing it's not sponsored. <laughs> PBL, <laughs> get them out of here. All right, we've got uh, solid, solid footsies. Solid. Safely hitting uh, the uh, down air cancel, so there's no lag. So you pretty much cannot punish a cloud when he's like, oh, let me just throw it down air. Ooh, trying to catch him with the falling up air, just barely missing, getting a good punish from Vorst. Getting the up air, up tilt. Ooh, up smash! Just barely not taking that stuck. Limit really helped there. Oh, yeah, that uh, fall speed. Here comes, here comes the uh, side B up air. Oh, my god. increased gravity. Ooh, I had to use that for the climb hazard, catching it up. Smash neutral get up. That's what I'm talking about. Now boys Boy. looking to get that extra credit. Yo. And Zivi's just getting this stock trying to get this stock closed out. Looking for the back air. Ooh, oh, Ooh that was super close. He should have charged limit, honestly. And if he would have charged the limit, he could have gotten the with the side B against this ledge if he had it. But I digress. He got Extremely it. Extremely difficult to tech. Ooh, up tilt chain? He could have kept that going, right. probably. But it forced the limit out, which, uh, good and bad. Because now that he has it at such a high percent, he's, he very easily could knock him off the stage and make him use that climb hazard. Yeah. It is better for him to get it one later. But also it does... Ooh. See? Look. Bam. He tried he to recover high because he was worried about getting ledge guard. Yeah. I'm not sure if that was ooh. the best course of action. I didn't think Vorst was in a spot to be able to react fast enough to him. I don't think he would have been able to get the two frame. That's what he would have needed to do. Oh. Well. ZV tried to do the oh. thing. ZV tried to do the thing and just did not kill. So forced out the, the uh, death from L. Not good recovery club. <laughs> Senor had trash recovery, some of us would call. <laughs> um, had he uh, had limit there, he would have been in a much better position, but yeah. he did not. Yeah, and if my uh, uncle was my sister, she'd be my cousin. I don't think that, <laughs> that works at all, actually. <laughs> if your uncle were your sister, you've already got several problems. Uh, 
I wanted to say another one, but you know, it's just extremely not esports, so I didn't say it. Yeah, I, I figured. You, you got I what figured. I was going for. I, I did. I will but, definitely uh, give you that. Exactly. Town, taking it to town and city. Town and, and that low ceiling is really good for clout. Yeah. Up air, chain, a room is going to be good for both of them. They're going to kill extremely, extremely early off the top in the sides. Yeah, but clout's also got finishing touch. True. That's why I think the advantage for this stage goes more to Cloud. I don't know, man. Fox being so fast. Just, just like, so fast. Like, nerf, nerf something. <laughs> so, so fast. But, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how uh, Vorce plays this matchup to this counter pick. No climb hazard necessary. That's I'm something I haven't seen go for. You know, I just love that. Z has not out of shield climb hazard anyone with uh, with uh, limit. I haven't seen him use finishing touch either. Well, in all fairness, finishing touch out of like all four of the options is like considered the worst now because it doesn't kill so early anymore. Yeah. It still kills early. Like it still kills pretty solidly, but you can get such an easier stock off of the side B, and the neutral B is more of the damage. And your up B is obviously just a good recovery, but it's a really fast out of shield option, and it has a humongous hit. Yeah, unless you get unlucky and they fall out and get absolutely no knockback. Yeah, I just think I think it's a good option, and it's a, it'd be a really good mix-up that he just has chosen not to use. Had to use the climb hazard uh, limit just to get back on stage. So sitting on a pretty good pretty good disadvantage at 64 percent. Fox at 114. <laughs> Clutching it out with the back air, though. Going to get probably half a limit here. Just under. Yep. He's got that 64% extra credit coming into the stock, though. Yep, we got 90%. Another another up air combo chain, and that's the stock, especially out here on Dreamland. Or Dreamland. Town and City. <laughs> back air going to gonna knock him out of a pretty bad position. And just barely not sna snapping the ledge. I highly doubt that's what ZV wanted. Definitely wanted to snap that ledge. Did not get it. So now he has no limit. And that's an up smash, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it looks like. When he slaps that C trigger upwards in that direction, you get that kind of result. That's what I'm talking about. And that puts mm -hmm. Borst one game away from the factory reset. Mm -hmm. Hit him with that hold for five seconds. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Let's see the counter pick coming out. Greenland. Maybe he said, you know what? Those funky wind boxes are really, really what I need to win. <laughs> Later, Mr. Wu. Alrighty, kids. Pineapple zone, as I like to call it. Yeah, I've uh, I've played a couple foxes on here, and honestly, it's probably the better of the two, in my opinion, for me, because of the jankness with the pine cone. It's just, you know, a fox recovers in such a way that you can punish it to the side, knock him under the pine cone, and then it's just like, well, what are you going to do now? I mean, I mean, I play Rob, so I mean, I like it just because it has a closer... Uh, Platforms are good for me, and the, with the blast zone being closer to the top. Yep. So compared <laughs> to Battlefield, I definitely always, almost always choose Dreamland when I can. Definitely. All right, let's see. Uh, trying to go for a raw forge match, just getting comboed for it. ZV, Ooh, ZV looking, getting the ZV looking like he has uh, has been he's been downloaded a little bit from the last time they played, and just getting the stock early. See if uh, maybe maybe ZV needs to make that old uh, Diddy switch, man. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't played Diddy in a long time, but he still has one. Uh, I've seen it. Might just need to make that switch, man. I can't do a good can't do a good snap there, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I can only snap with one hand right now. Oh, uh, ooh, nasty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, trying to trying to catch the uh, si phantasm. I think it's side me, but. Trying yep. to catch it with the the fair, just barely missing it on the cloud. No, the Phantasm's Falco. Falco, I thought they were the same. Is it not no, the same? Uh, it's the Fox Illusion, the Falco Phantasm. Okay, so Illusion, almost getting caught, getting a ZV man, sitting at beefy back air, extremely high bonus percent again, man. Gonna have to use that climb hazard, putting himself at a really big disadvantage. One more up air, and that's gonna clutch this game. Oh, oh pineapples! Apple. And the factory reset. We are going to Grand's round two. He said, Did "You hear about there being 27 people? I'm trying to get this money." Fun fact. 
very soon at a weekly near you, we may be running $3 brackets. No spoilers, but it might be coming. Might. Be ready, kids. Bring your wallet. Bring your checkbook. We're out here playing for big bucks. Holla, holla, several dollar. Holla, holla, mega dollar. Let's see what the, let's see how Zevi adapts, man. This second grand finals, the loser bracket reset. Let's see. Uh, maybe he need, just maybe he just needed some time to get warmed back up to the Fox matchup. Ooh. I am surprised we didn't see the Diddy coming from uh, Zevi here. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think he's, I, I think he just really, really just wants to play his cloud and keep his cloud as crisp as he can because yeah. he hasn't played the Diddy in a long time, so. I'm assuming it's, it's probably got a fair amount of rust on it that even Coke can't take off. And, uh, you know, I, I, I respect that. But at the same time, I think I think he's just been downloaded pretty pretty intensely by Forrest. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually a losing matchup for Cloud just from the things we've been seeing. But also, I don't know anything, so I could be completely wrong in that regard. Well, I like to think of it as a rule of thumb, though. If you're in the top five, you pretty much have no losing matchups. Cloud's top five. Valid but point. Fox is, like, top ten, so, you know, who knows? Pretty close. <laughs> we'll see, uh, there's some forces, uh, not forced, uh, ZV has been doing really bad about He has not been able to close out stocks, and that's what caused him to get so much extra credit done to him in the last, like, three games. So, he really needs to focus on getting this stock off. And Perfect. he did. Perfect, because now he's now he's playing from an advantage which he hasn't had the last three games, which is the the extra stock, the extra damage. He's already Almost. got that limit most of the way charged. Yep. Trying to get a couple jump cancel limit charges in there just to uh, get the extra little bit. Nice conversion. Nice Super solid. Got the can Ooh. auto cancel on that, so there's almost like no lag. Got a limit on deck. Ooh, gotta be careful though. Back air is definitely gonna take that. Or up air if he hits that. Back air? Oh, up air. Oh, not gonna but take at that low. Not that low. I was about to say, that's a very awkward angle. I was expecting a back air punish that Vorce usually does. Now I'm actually getting it. Yeah, had that not been higher or he didn't have limit, that would have been a death oh. for uh, ZV there. Nice fair coming out from ZV. Probably gonna be. Oh, I knew it. Oh, he's gonna, that was. He's gonna lay deep. That's what I'm talking about. I can't meme his blade beam now if he's using it so well. <laughs> that was stellar. That just to walk up the timing on that. As soon as he saw that he was getting ready during those startup frames, mm -hmm. he dropped down and that's yeah. immediately. If you notice, the hitbox had almost just came out. That was so close. That was really well timed. Oh yeah, he he knew, he knew where it was at. ZV feeling himself. Oh, not like that. Esports. That's not Come e on. Come on. There's kids <laughs> watching you. Dex is at home right now like, what? What did he just say? And look at you. It's all your fault. Thanks. Ooh, nice. That's something people don't do a lot of is that neutral B really kind of covers a lot of good options in the ledge. Up tilt, up tilt, up tilt, baby. ZV seems to be carrying that momentum into this game. Definitely what he has to do. Get someone like Fox who could just run away with your stocks if you let him. Ooh, that was a disgusting back air. Watch out, Climb has it. Nope. <laughs> He's not gonna use that. Ooh, Ooh. back air! Almost. That clutching was it. close, but Here that was some really good DI on uh, Vorst's part. Ooh, trying to get an auto cancel down air, just barely missing it. Actually, almost got punished. Got him! Oh, he fell into him. That was. Nice. Got him. And he's got about a third of his limit already charged up. 13%, man. Nice fares. Doing the uh, doing the old just up tilt, up tilt. Even when he's out of range, I think uh, Force is playing a little shook right now, man. Oh, yeah. The fact that he's he's just up tilting, up tilting, and it wasn't even close like that just kind of shows when you're playing a little shook. Yeah. Only 44% extra credit, though. This is a lot smaller of a deficit than compared to last game. Well, I mean, you pretty much just commentated cursed him, so there's pretty much there's no way he loses now or wins now. But you know, way to go, thanks, thanks, Spooks. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how. Way to go. Oh, see what I tell you? He cursed this man. Way to go, Spooks. Hit him again. See? God. Ooh. 
<laughs> you ever watch that? There's a there's a GR dra uh, dragon or GR smash. I think it's GR dragon. It's like Dragon Smash or something like that. Yeah. He has a uh, top ten uh, commentator curses, man. Ooh wee. Ooh wee. Mm. That's a that's a two zero for ZV. We're into game three of the factory reset. Seems like he got the download there. All right, look. Somebody grab the camera. Put it on the commentator camera, please. Spooks, put it on the commentator camera. Just, uh, just somebody look at that man. Somebody. Oh, there he is. The head nod. Ooh. <laughs> look at him. Why are you doing this? Got him. I'm all, right. This off. all right. All right. All right. <laughs> Why do I listen to you? <laughs> Do I listen to you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the man's been the man's up been up all day running this tournament. He is exhausted. Okay. All right, We're enough to game three post reset. Enough of the meme dumps. We're back at it again. Switching With the to, to the ZSS. zero suit. I know he plays a zero suit, but last time I talked to him, I'm pretty sure he said, "Yeah, but my zero suit's trash." So. Not sure. Maybe he's just like I said. Vorst, I think, is a, a very emotional player, a very mental player, and he uh, he just he think he gets in his own head a lot. He psychs himself out. He starts to not really realize he's a really good player. He just, he just psychs himself out. But I mean, who knows? Uh, I remember it didn't look too good for him uh, last first in the first sets, and uh, he pretty much pulled it out after getting that first game. So. Who knows, man? Maybe we're going to see this reverse 3-0 three, uh, three here. Maybe Def the presto change was all he needed to get his head back where it needed to be. Exactly. I mean, he's, like I said, he's a solid player. He definitely can pull it off. You guys see this blade beam coverage? No? No coverage? Like uh, I don't think uh, the blade beam's a good option against a tether, to be honest. Uh, I would only say it was because I assumed he was going to get up, so he would use the blade beam to cover normal get ups and like attack get ups, and then he would up smash or something to cover like jumps. Or like a back would air. be pretty gnarly. Sick. Ooh. No punish. It's kind of oh, hard right. to punish that. Yeah. Out of shield. Uh, climb hazard. Anyone? No. It's me. Oh, blade beam. Oh. There it is. And there to end closes out that stock. We are on tournament stock for mm. Vors. I think Vors should have sat on that platform and just waited, like on that starter platform, oh, and yeah. just giving him a second to to really think. Oh yeah, that's. You are definitely right on that. Yeah. Taken already 63 percent, and he was in the he was in the hits. Or he was in the um, the hit from up air. So when he down aired, it was super slow, and just getting a free punish. 101 percent, man. It's not looking good for him right now, but he's not giving up yet. I mean, Nairo's clutched things out with something like this. And it's totally possible. See, he just has to he just has to play calm and focused. He can't let himself slip up right now because any any silly mistake right now, and that's the tournament stock. I mean, I think he's getting close to the percentage where dash attack will kill. Oh, yeah. Side of the stage, it's getting deadly. Ooh, nice. He's, he's working. Nice. It. He does not want to give this up that easy. Oh, he's not going Ooh. to, but he gets caught with the handle on the, on the up air. Yep. You know what? Hard fault for both competitors. The, uh... The three, three one from Vorst, and then the reverse three zero from ZV. Well played to both combatants. <gasps> so got him. Yeah. I can't even be mad because that that was hell cry. That was, he, that's push block. He runs this. That's <laughs> that's push block. That's that's OG push block. <laughs> oh. So uh, the tournament goes to. Uh, ZV in first, Vorst in second, and who was in third again? I believe it I was Jinkom in third. Uh, I want to know why you made the switch. I was actually not the, I was, I, I got the download on his box today, so. I say you, See, that's you should've, what I was thinking. You should've, uh, you should've cloud did on him. You don't need one. ZV, you should've fox did on Everyone plays cloud. You should've cloud. fox did on Honestly, in the first game, uh, during the first set, I thought he would switch to Diddy, and he just never did. But yeah, guys, that I mean, you played really well, man. You really did. I mean, you did good all day. You can't be really mad. 
I think uh, there were a couple times though, like throughout all the people you played, when you like would go for your combos like dash attack up air, up tilt up air, and they kept. I'm gonna sign off, kept, so I'm muting you. They kept. Yeah. <laughs> I'm unmuting you so you can. All right, guys, but that that was uh, Salty Sunday 142 season, which is season five, episode nine. Uh, so that is the ninth installment here at Boss Battle Games. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw here. If you did, follow us on the uh, yeah, follow us. I almost. <laughs> I know, I know. But yeah, if you guys like what you saw, you can follow us here on Twitch. You can follow us on Twitter or like us on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> and. Uh, also, check out our Patreon. I mean, like I, like we were saying all day, every cent you give to us on Patreon just goes to making these streams better, getting VODs up. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your night. This has been Salty Sunday, and have a good evening.